hello guys. It feels so nice to be in a room besides the kitchen. We have been in there for quite a while doing the renovations, the flooring, all the kitchen, but it's pretty much done. We're just waiting on the range now. And we moved in, as you guys know, about two weeks ago. And after moving in, we were only here for a couple days. Then I ended up traveling for about a week and a half. I went to Marie's birthday party, which was so much fun. And then I actually went to a home and garden show in Las Vegas, went to my parents' house for a few days, and I'm finally back. So everything's still kind of in the current state of when we moved in, everything was just kind of placed in the rooms. And something I wanna do is actually get the living room kind of a little bit situated because I was thinking to myself like, oh, I'll just get to the living room soon. But no, like we need somewhere to sit. We need somewhere to have people over and guests. I do wanna set up the living room just a little bit. And something that came is our new sofa. Actually a custom order piece that I had done last November, I think, and it finally arrived. So I'm very happy and excited to share that with you guys. We have some chairs over there. There is quite a bit of just like stuff everywhere, as you can see. So we have a lot to work on. I also have that gray toned lime wash on this wall, which is not at all the vibe I'm going for in this space anymore. I put it on here and then I swear over the course of about two weeks, it turned into a gray. It went on tan and it is now gray and it's just gotta go. So let's get started. I wanna start kind of clearing some stuff out. Cityscapes and skylines running circles. Definitely looking much cleaner in here. I just went through all the boxes, took everything out, put some of the decor over on this table over here, and then there's still some bits and bobs over there. But I kind of want to talk about a couple of the furniture pieces in here. First thing we're talking about is the rug in this space because I have had countless questions since putting it down and sharing it in a couple videos where this is from. So I actually got this at the Rose Bowl flea market probably like eight months ago, I'd say. And the thing about this rug is it was actually the rug that the vendor had all of his other rugs on top of. So this was like his booth floor, if that makes sense. Then all the other rugs were on top of it. But I saw like a little corner like this of the rug and I was like, that one down there is so beautiful. So he ended up taking all the rugs off and he sold me this massive, humongous rug, which I'm going to measure it and let you guys know how big this is. He sold me this for $600, which I thought was such a great deal. It is stunning. Look at the colors in this rug, you guys. And it's not like it's dirty or anything. Like it's still in such great condition. And even the backside is so beautiful with all the actual like woven details. So this one's a little bit more saturated, whereas the back is almost more of a muted tone. So I have the option to do either side if I wanted to. Welcome to the new sofa. I love this couch so much. I absolutely love a leather sofa, as a lot of you guys know. I've actually only owned leather sofas. My, I had a Chesterfield kind of leather sofa, and then I had the Article sectional, which I adored that couch. Like one of my favorite sofas I've ever had. Had that for about three years and then got this one. And the thing I love about this one is I actually got to customize it. This is a Carmel sofa from Pottery Barn and it has the wood base on it. I think it's so pretty. I love the wood base. It just adds a little bit of warmth to the bottom. But the leather that I actually opted for this was the Aviator leather in the color Blackwoods. And it is just such a beautiful color. It's like a dark, dark brown, black, hints of gray. It is just like, if you could imagine like a mushroom color intensified almost to black, it's kind of like that. It has like this greenish, brownish, gray undertone to it that I just love. And I thought it would be perfect for the space. I didn't want to do another brown leather couch because there's so much brown happening in this house. We have the brown kitchen. We have the brown ceiling in here. I didn't want to bring too much brown in. The rug is like a rusty color. So I thought adding a little bit of more of a cooler tone because this couch does lean a little bit cool even though it is kind of that ashy brown tone. I thought it was really pretty and I love it. I also opted for the bench seat. So as you can see, it's just one long seat as opposed to like different cut up sections, which was another customizable feature of the sofa. And I love it. It is so comfy. It's like perfect to sleep on. I mean, you could totally 
could probably even take these off and make it into a bed. The couch is actually in the right spot, right in front of the fireplace, which is right here. I want it to go there. I probably am gonna move it a little bit forward, but these are my accent chairs, which I definitely am going to be getting reupholstered. I just don't exactly know the wall color in here yet. As many of you guys know, I went through trial and error in this living room. I painted three different colors of lime wash, and I did splurge on these incredible, incredible Monterey chairs. I got a pair of two of them, and it's because when I went into the antique shop, the lady said that she had only had one of these, like a set of two of these chairs in her past 35 years of having her antique store. And I love, love, love Monterey furniture. I think it is so beautiful. It kind of has this rancho sort of Western style to it, which I love. I feel like it could easily tie into a Spanish style home. Definitely gonna get them reupholstered. She actually got them reupholstered for this like green chartreuse color, but it's just not what I wanna go for in here. Um, however, I do love the chair. So I wanna kind of put them in position. The backs of them as well are painted. This one has this kind of design on it. And right here it says Monterey. And then over on the other chair, which we have a bunch of stuff blocking this door because it just swings open when it wants to and it's windy. Um, this one has a red design and then it has the horseshoe monogram right there, which is another one of the Monterey symbols. Something fun about these chairs is they're actually woven with rope at the bottom. Um, which is a fun detail. I love that and it's really functional, but it's still super comfortable You don't at all feel like you're sitting on a rope or anything I've also yet to tell you guys my plans for this back wall. I am so excited about this back wall Whole wall of built-ins. Just wait. That's all I'm giving you guys right now is it's gonna be all built-ins with those stained glass doors that I found in the middle. I do want to see the scale of these chairs because the sofa is pretty chunky and this living room is big, but it's not Huge, if that makes sense. I'm kind of wanting to do this like corner seating moment here, almost where one chair is kind of more catty corner here. And then the other chair is kind of like that. A little this way. I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed that I tend to do very kind of structured living room layouts, like couch and then like two chairs, two stools, like everything I always have done is very just linear and structured. Whereas I wanna start playing around with more interesting layouts and kind of putting things in spots that they, you might not think they'll go in. So like I even have this little table here, which is from Wayfair, by the way. It is so pretty, I'll link it for you guys. But we could do like a little kind of side table in between those. I don't know if that's gonna be the one. We can even do like a little lamp on there. And I also love that the floor has outlets in it. We have outlets in the floor so they could run under the rug and actually be useful. Coffee table scale is very off. Um, it is tiny, tiny, tiny in here. We can definitely stretch it longer this way. I actually feel like we might be able to do like a really long, skinny coffee table, which seems fun. I've never had a space I could do that with. The olive atelier pot's way too heavy for me to bring up by myself, so we're just gonna use this one for the time being from the previous living room. All right, something else I can also tell you guys is the olive tree is not the tree for this living room. I don't think it looks very great in here. It doesn't feel like it fits. It's a little bit more kind of French, minimal vibes, if that makes sense. And I'm kind of going for maximal Spanish Gothic vibes. So maybe like a more spooky plant would work. shift console table slash I guess it could be like a desk workspace in the living room but I do need to get like some piece of furniture for this area or honestly probably more so this wall here because this wall over here is really massive with the opening leaving so we could put like a large hutch here or something and like a cool piece of artwork here but for the moment I'm just going to kind of style this more as a console just get some decor up so it feels a little more homey in here um, so let's get this into place and then I have a cool piece of art I want to show you guys. This is my fun piece of art that I got. I found this actually on Facebook Marketplace. It's an 18th century oil painting and it was so affordable. I had to, well, as affordable as an 18th century oil painting can be. Get it, I thought that even the backside, honestly, like, I'm someone that would use this texturally. Wait, should I do that? Is that bad? Like, am I allowed to do that? 
what if I lean it against the wall like that, kind of texturally, until we actually design this living room space and then we can hang it, you know? So at least I can enjoy the backside. Is that bad? Let's do some books. Is it weird to display a book? I think it's cute. You guys see these little sconce spots right here? There were two sconces there before, didn't like them. I'll try to pop up a clip of them. They were not original either. They were actually plastic that was painted to look old. Found some new sconces. I'm gonna pop up a photo right there. If you guys saw, I actually was re-watching one of my thrift videos and I saw these sconces in the clip and I think I pointed them out in the video too. I was like, wow, these are so beautiful. And I went back and watched the video. I cannot stop thinking about them. Something about them just brings a little bit of the kitchen into the living room. They look like jesters for some reason, like a little jester hat, and I want to put them right there. Be so cute. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like we need to go shop the Lone Fox room too because we have some throw pillows and some decor I could grab. Now, I want to make a point, guys, that this artwork would not look so stark if it wasn't on a yellow wall. The walls in here are yellow, so once they're gone from being yellow, I think it might look a little better. But also, I've had this piece for so long, I'll probably end up donating it once I get to actually, you know, making over this space. I'm also kind of thinking about swapping this and then putting this great floor lamp that I have in the middle. You couldn't see what I was talking about. There. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. So much better. I like the floor lamp here and then the table lamp here. I just swapped those two and it made quite a big difference. Oh. I know, right? It's like the couch isn't on the wall and then, yeah, the pottery barn one, I love it. Look how pretty the color is. So good. Is that not the best leather color you've ever seen? Of course, this is all gonna be built-ins at some point. So good. And then what, it'll all be painted too, of course, to like look better. But like, look at that. Like that looks chic. That's a vibe. I know, I love it. It's just so cool to see it finally with furniture. I know. And then the it's lamp. It's so homey and cozy. It really and it's is. so cute. Do you know what's so crazy? It's like, even though it's a totally different style house, your style translates really well from like the apartment to this house, oh, you know? Thank you. All right, guys, so this is like a living room. Look how cute this is looking so far. It really feels so nice in this room now that there's furniture. Like, I have not seen this room with furniture, or at least like sittable furniture. We just got the sofa the other day, so it feels so nice to have more furniture in here. Now, this, of course, is just temporary. I am going to be doing the built-ins back here. It's not temporary. Like, these chairs are staying, being reupholstered. Couch is I love this sofa. It is absolutely beautiful. I want to warm up the walls a little bit. I actually kind of want to bring the walls to a tone like this mica color, um, kind of like more of a taupey tan color. I don't know if I want to do plaster, lime wash, or just normal paint. I'm not a thousand percent sure yet. And then over here, I just did a little kind of decor setup, just something else to have in the space for the time being, but I love it. It feels great in here. And I still also have to figure out our TV situation because I want to do a TV above. However, I do not want to kind of like ruin this little original moment back here. I want to kind of build something that allows the TV to pop off of it. And the great thing is, is that there's actually a plug so we can plug the TV right in there. So this room has to be the next one we're working on. Like I feel so inspired after just putting some of those pieces in here and cleaning it out. I just, there's so much potential for the space and my design mind is going crazy. So I'm thinking I want to just go to the fabric store um, and just get some fabric swatches for these chairs and just kind of get my ideas around those because I feel like one once I have the chairs and the sofa and the rug, which are already in the room, you know, and I have the fabric for the chairs, it'll really allow me to determine the paint color on the walls because those are gonna be our most focal pieces of furniture in here. 
just got to FNS, but look how cool this mural is that's outside with all the fabric. I've actually never noticed that. Um, we're at FNS. Let's see what fabrics we can find for the chair. Oh my gosh, you guys. Jamie says she has a gift for me. I have no. She's like, wait, wait, right here. I have a gift for you. I just walked right in. What is that? You are about to find out. Who is she? Who <gasps> is she? <laughs> oh my gosh, the velvet. That's the, one That's that you the love, velvet. That you to do your couch. In. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> some pillows. Some pillows. You guys, this fabric I loved so much. Like, is it like? It almost looks like it's like painted. Yeah. It's so pretty, but it's also very expensive. Um, so, oh my gosh, Jamie got me a yard of it. And now we can make some pillows. Yay. I wanted to do like a bold pattern on the couch. And yeah. I think, I think you guys already saw which one I opted for, which I'll pop it up here if you didn't see. Um, but this was another one I was going for. I could not tell from the back when you brought it out. I was like, oh, is that like muslin? <laughs> Muslin for, me? muslin for me? Boils me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but we're thinking, what about for the chairs? Line one. This fabric gives me fall vibes. Yeah. Which is what I love. Oh, oh you're kind of like putting it over a chair yeah. so we can see. So you can kind of try her on. Oh. Yeah. That's Visualize a little bit. Better. Actually, I love that. On those chairs, I think the scale of that would be really, it's, really nice. I also love how there's like a prominent almost check, like this prominent Ooh. box. I really like that. Oh, a velvet like this. I do like the velvet on it currently. Also this color, oh my gosh. It's like a dusty lilac-y brown. These are all vintage linen. I just see these as such pretty curtain panels. The sky is so pretty right now. I wonder if you're pretty eyes to see. I need a good love. I wonder if you're ever gonna be in a couple weeks. Drive away. This is a room that you guys have not been in in quite a while, and this room actually used to be purple, if you remember. I actually had it painted while I was gone on Marie's birthday trip, so today I'm kind of going to start situating this room. I'm actually shooting a bunch of the items for the vintage drop that's coming out on the 12th, which I am so excited for. I think this video is probably coming out on Thursday or so. So I'm going to be shooting a bunch of the items for the vintage drop today. They're really everywhere, like all over the place. There's a bunch of stuff, you guys. I'm really excited, and I I want to start kind of situating this room, get a shelf set up, and turn this into a studio space. Shelf is up. I will link these below for you guys. I use these everywhere. I have them in my garage or I had them in my old garage. I also have four or five of them actually in my storage room. They are incredible and they hold so much. I love how deep the shelves are, but gonna start filling this up with all of the vintage items because they're just scattered around. There's even a bunch out here, you guys. It is all over the place. So guys, this is everything I've been collecting for the vintage drop. Everything is literally hand sourced from flea markets, thrift stores, antique shops, things that I personally would use in my designs and that I love and that I come across, but not always do I have a space for them or I already have something that kind of fulfills the needs. So I wanted to create a kind of curation of vintage items that I would use, which is dropping on the 12th. And you can actually get notified if you just enter your email on the website. I'm gonna send out an email newsletter once it's live so that you guys can shop it. I've been shooting for a few hours now um, and here are the items for the vintage drop over here. Been working working over here, Justin's over here, we have some curtains up, it is a whole situation in here, but I'm just going to set the camera up and do a little time lapse of the shooting process.
Oh no. I spilled juice on the ground. What do we do? Justin! Where are the paper towels? I don't know. <laughs>